The Big South Fork Scenic Railway runs 16 miles through the lush and scenic Appalachian Mountains and the Daniel Boone National Forest between Stearns, Kentucky and the historic Blue Heron Mine. The trip starts out at the Stearns, Kentucky Depot, where Engineer Paul prepares for the hour and a half run to the Blue Heron Mine. originally made for the Seaboard Railroad. It's a 1951 EMD or Electromotive Division of General Motors uh, SW9. It's, so it's a branch line and switch duty locomotive. <laughs> That's actually my C and O horn on the engine. <laughs> Now, yeah, what I generally do is uh, I'll do the grab my air when I'm starting out over the hill. I'll go on that here just get it. I'll stay right along here, but bailed off. We rode in the cab of engine number 106, which was an ex Seaboard Coastline EMB SW9 with 1200 horsepower. Number 106 was pulling four custom made 55 foot passenger cars and one caboose. Between Stearns and the tunnel, there is a steep 3.5% downgrade where the tracks lose almost 500 feet of elevation in 2.5 miles. The Big South Fork Scenic Railway runs on the original Nashville and Tennessee track that was built in 1905 and was used to bring coal out of the Blue Heron Mine that was owned by the Stearns Coal Company, which owns Stearns in the surrounding area. With the building of the Nashville and Tennessee Railroad, it allowed the Blue Heron Mine to prosper. However, by the mid-1950s, coal production dwindled, and in 1955, the Stearns Coal Company sold the Blue Heron and several other mines. Today, the McCreary County Heritage Foundation has preserved the line, and the Big South Fork Scenic Railway carries people to the remains of the old Blue Heron mine. Three and a half miles west of Stearns is the mining camp of Barthel. The camp dates back to 1902 and was the first of 18 mining camps that belonged to Stearns Coal Lumber Company. Oh, 
One and a half miles out of Stearns, engine number 106 pulls into a Y, and the train reverses and backs up into the blue-haired mine. Just off the siding, the train crosses the Ponch Creek Bridge that was bought from the New York Central in 1937 and crosses Ponch Creek. The train stops a Blue Heron mine for an hour while passengers get out and explore the remains of the Blue Heron, which is a National Historic Site. Engineer Paul's loud blast on the horn reminds us to head back to the train for the return trip to Stearns. On the return trip, we'll be riding in the caboose with the conductor.